Hello everybody, welcome back to Mingo Central Live. We're here for our second year and uh, we've got a new segment here. This is the uh, big board. It's got our games of the week, you know, blowout of the week, upset of the week, games of interest, players of the week. We got so, lots of new stuff coming yeah. at y'all this year, guys. We got weekly shows, we got this, we've got brand new stuff, we got live stream still. We're back, Mingo Central Live. Let's rock this thing out, Trey. Okay, uh, we go over here on our big board here. Uh, we mainly do double A since that's what Mingo Central's in. We'll do a bunch of regional, triple A, regional, single A games. Uh, we go here to the top number one, three time defending state champ Bridgeport Indians will play against the number two defending class triple A state championship, Willing Park. And uh, I got the Patriots over Bridgeport in this one by a score of 28 to 14. Uh, that's definitely going to be an interesting game there. We got number two, Point Pleasant, is going to take on a very young, uh, very up and coming Ripley team. They take care of Ripley 49 10. Number three, Fairmont Senior, led by Jake Abbott, uh, is going to take on North Marion. And uh, the Polar Bears are going to trample over North Marion by a score of 52 to 6. Uh, Mingo Central, uh, of course, calls by us. Mingo Central is going to take on number three, Tulsa, and avenge last season's regular season and semifinal loss. Uh, I ain't got the score up here. <laughs> Don't want to be biased, so Don't we're just biased, leaving that one blank. We're just taking Central over Tulsa. Uh, number five, Kaiser, takes on AAA Berkeley Springs, and uh, the Golden Tornado is going to beat Berkeley Springs 48-13. Uh, the number six, Weir, team out of the uh, Northern Panhandle takes on uh, – Edison local team that don't know much about. After doing a little bit of research about the team and how good Weir is this year, uh, I got Weir beating Edison local 40 to six. Number seven, James Monroe is idle this week. Number eight, Bluefield coming off of loss to Graham last week uh, is going to take on the Princeton Tigers and they will beat Princeton 30 to 10. In uh, Cardinal Conference action, Herbert Hoover is uh, taking on a Chapmanville team that. Uh, lost last week to Sissonsville. Uh, now got Hoover uh, dismantling the Tigers 58-14. Uh, Logan takes on a polka team that lost last week to Nitro. It was on a big losing streak. And it's not going to be pretty. Logan over polka 65-10. to uh, In single A action, uh, Mount View is going to beat Man. Man's going to lose two straight. Mount View is going to go to 2-0. 20 to 6. Uh, two struggling teams right here, uh, St. Albans versus Nitro. I got St. Albans over Nitro by score 16 to 9. Low scoring affair in that one. Riverview is going to get beat by Grundy, Virginia, 50 to nothing. Uh, Riverview lost last week to Mount View like 42 to 6. It was a blowout. It was a, it pretty, was a blowout. It was a pretty rough game. Uh, the Wayne Pioneers coming off a loss against Tulsa quickly bounced back and beat Sissonsville 21-17. Uh, Wyoming East team that lost starting quarterback Hunter Hall last week. That was a rough loss. Yeah, a rough loss to them. Uh, thoughts and prayers go to his family. Uh, oh, yeah. Wyoming East is going to lose the Battle of the Coast Shovel 44-6. Which uh, that's a very talented team yeah. this year. Beat uh, Liberty Raleigh last week, I believe, 44-6. to so. Two weeks straight. Uh, Winfield is playing Scott this week. I got Winfield over Scott, 28 to 16, and RCB, who is now unranked due to that loss last week to Fairmont Senior, will beat Elkins and take a little bit of frustration out by score of 59 to 7. And last week, and this can be mean, but <laughs> we got we a go. new thing. <laughs> Our blowout of the week is Morgantown over Anacostia, DC, 59 to 0. And our upset of the week is last week in single A when the Sherman Tide defeated the Tug Valley Panthers 25-20. to And now here we go, Triple A games of interest. We got Capital over Riverside 70-14. to That's definitely a bold statement there. Riverside snapped their 24-game losing streak, but uh, I don't think it's going to last long. I don't know. And then next up, we got South Charleston over Cabell Midland. South Charleston definitely a talented team this year. Dirk Pitts, a lot of others on the big Division One databases. Over Cabell Midland, 35-12. to Woodrow Wilson losing to Greenbrier East, 14-7. to That's definitely a little bit of a defensive battle there. Woodrow Wilson lost to Riverside last week, and they're just going to keep losing momentum. I hope it's going to be a good year for the Flying Eagles, but uh, it is what it is. 
Spring Valley over Huntington, 35-14. to And now on to our single-A games of interest. We got Tug Valley losing to Meadow Bridge, 28-20. to Definitely going to be a close one there due to our predictions. But Tug Valley, of course, a very close team in Mingo County. And it's going to be a good one over there, so y'all might want to go check that one out. Van over Phelps, 38-16. to Sherman over Calhoun County, 16-10. to and Willing Central over Bel Air, Ohio, 28 to 12. And now we got players of the week, some players to watch out for in AAA action. Martinsburg quarterback Tyson Bajant had four passing touchdowns last week, and he's definitely a big factor to that Martinsburg team right there. Yeah, making a run for the AAA state championship as they tore apart Eastern DC. Hello, darling. Uh, Jake Abbott, quarterback of the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears. Best name in the state. Uh, threw four passing touchdowns, rushed for a touchdown, had 195 passing yards, and uh, went over RCB. He's definitely a great key asset for Fairmont Senior, the Polar Bears. You know, being up there ranked, ranked in the top right now, Double yeah. A, you know, one of the best teams in Double A right now. He's definitely one of the heart and souls of that team. And finally, single A, Dylan Lucas, running back from Buffalo, had 225 rushing yards and five touchdowns in the win over Parkersburg Catholic. And, of course, Parkersburg Catholic, you know, they ain't no joke when it comes to football. And I really believe that that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good player to watch out for this week. And finally, our games of the week this week, Triple A, number one, Bridgeport, against number two, Wheeling Park. Wheeling Park's a great team in Triple A, and, of course, Bridgeport being in Double A. And uh, we'll go ahead and circle Wheeling Park here. That's, that's my pick. Wheeling Park. We're going with Wheeling Park here. You know, Bridgeport, they're a great team in double A, but Wheeling Park being triple A, you know, a little bit more talent, a little bit more to choose from there. And double A, not mean to be biased or anything, but Mingo Central versus Tulsa, number three versus number four. We're going to go with Mingo Central, guys. You already know how we rock and roll it here with Mingo Central Live. We're going to go with Mingo Central. Too bad for me not to pick the team I play for. The single A, we got number five, Williamstown, versus number eight, Magnolia. I'm tore on this one because on one hand, Williamstown is always really good. Magnolia is really good. But at the end of the day, i got to pick the defending state champs. Magnolia, they're definitely Magnolia. a strong team. And, you know, it's going to be great to see how they perform this season. And we're going to be coming at you all every single week with stuff like this. We've got loads of different segments coming to you all this year. Instead, just live streams here and there and a couple of interviews. we got lots of different stuff coming. So make sure y'all make sure y'all stick up with our YouTube channel, guys. I'm Kyle Toller. I'm Trey And we're with Mingo Central Live. Everybody have a great day. And most importantly, as always, God bless.